Hi, I'm Marie Miller and I'm here at the Sutter Home Vibe and Vine Green Room. My favorite place to enjoy a glass of wine is at my parents' house in Virginia and that's because we live on a vineyard. Sitting on my front porch is basically on the vineyard and so uh, I feel super inspired there. I love the art of making wine and I love how it brings people together. If I could have a glass of wine with any artist, it would definitely be Sarah Bareilles. Yeah, she's just awesome. She doesn't realize that we're best friends. It's kind of sad, but you know, it's a process, it's a process. I got started playing music when I was really young. I um, moved from Northern California to Virginia and my dad told me kind of a lie, basically saying that all the cool kids in Virginia play bluegrass music. So I started playing mandolin, guitar, and learning a lot of that folk tra tradition. And then um, I just love pop music too. And so I would listen to, um, maybe shamefully, the Backstreet Boys, and who I got to open for, by the way, so dreams come true. And um, I would listen to all these pop bands, and I started sort of marriaging um, my love for folk music and those pop melodies. I uh, got a call one day, I was just hanging out at my parents' house in Virginia, and I got a call that um, that I was asked to sing for Pope Francis. And I was thinking, okay, what does that mean? You mean I'm just gonna sing like when he's in, like in the same city when he's there, like there's gonna be a lot of festival stuff going around. And as we continue to talk, um, the promoter kept saying, okay, so yeah, there's gonna be 700,000 people there. And the other people performing are Aretha Franklin and Andre Bocelli, and I'm like, what? What's going on? I thought it was a prank call, but no, it wasn't. And I got to perform for him um, uh, in September, and it was it was amazing. And it ended up being on CNN and Fox News, and just the biggest, funnest moment. I just I'm, I think I should retire now because I don't think it's going to be any better than that. I have a lot coming up, which is really, really exciting. I recorded an album in uh, LA with Eric Ross, who happens to be Sarah Bareilles' first producer. Random, I know, and um, and has done a bunch of great stuff. Uh, Mary Lambert, um, Landon Pig, Gavin DeGraw, all these awesome artists that I love. Uh, Tori Amos, and I uh, got to work with him, and he's just amazing. And so that album is going to be released in the summer. When we're going to the studio, it's the craziest feeling to think to myself, I wrote the song somewhere in the living room or in my bedroom and all of a sudden there's all these amazing musicians here. I got to record in Los Angeles this last time um, with some just amazing musicians and that they're all here working together to make my music come alive, which is amazing. And then to take it one step further after that, that music um, has been recorded and to perform it for people and for someone to come up, even if it's just one or two people at the end of the show and say, I connected with that song. It's just the journey of that song and that it brings everyone together is just the best feeling in the world. Mm -hmm.